guys. How are you today? Find us here. There we go, we are. Let's say hi. Awesome. Hi, Tanya. How are you? Okay, I think that's it. How are you guys doing today? Hey Jennifer, hi Linda, how are you? Welcome, welcome. We're gonna be making some cute bathroom signs today. Oh, I should have made myself some coffee. Half the time I forget to drink when I'm on here anyway, so it's all good. Hey, Sandy, how are you? Are you having fun with all your pretty stuff? Having fun playing? Hi, Sharon, how you doing? So guys, we're gonna be using our five by five double-sided box frames. I'm gonna be making um, um, four of these, but we're gonna just do two of them today so you can see what I'm gonna do. But if you, um, you may some of you may remember I did the freshen up um, the freshen up transfer and I put that in my bathroom I posted pictures before it's really really pretty so I'm gonna make these signs to match that so my bathroom is kind of white and then I have um, like gray and like a kind of a burgundy red color in there so um, and I like, I kind of like rustic romance a little bit. So that's what we're going to do today. <laughs> hi, Paula. Hi, Joyce. Hey, Joyce. They'll call you. You're officially a Floridian now, I saw. That's awesome. You're still unpacking. Shoot, you'll be doing that for years if you're like me. <laughs> hi, Lynn. Hey, Leona. How are you? Hopefully you guys that are signed up got your message that I was going to be live today. So we're going to be doing some decoupaging. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut, um, cut this napkin into some sections. I like to use a paper cutter because then it's, um, well, usually nice and straight. There we go. And I'm only going to need like less than half of this. So we will save that other piece for another project. So I am gonna need these, I'm gonna make them about two inches wide. Let's see. Okay. So that is one, two. That should be good. This way I have nice clean edges. And one, two. Should do it. Oh, no, that didn't do it. Hang on. There we go. There it is. Hey, is it Keila? Keila Yale, am I saying that right? What a beautiful name, welcome. Welcome everybody. If you're new here, I'm Diane, it's nice to meet you. Here we love to create all kinds of beautiful home decor. Let's see, I'm gonna turn this the other way. And I did uh, post the link to, I made a little bundle with um, the two, these two uh, five and a half, five by five by five double-sided box frames. And then the transfer we're gonna be using is called No Selfies in the Bathroom. Like how cute is that, you guys? Oh my gosh. I love, I love sassy decor. And I just think these are so cute. So that is what we're gonna do today. All right. Let me lock this down and put it away over here, out of the way. So 
do you guys um, do you guys like to decoupage? Have you ever decoupaged? I've done some pre-prep on here um, on this one just so the video wouldn't run so long. And let's see, this one I'm going to. Okay, so we're going to do some taping on here. My shears. Hello, Lisa. Hello, is it Marina? Belinda. Hi, guys. Welcome. So I'm just going to cut this a little more narrow because I don't need it that wide. Because we're going to be doing some painting. So I want the other bathroom decor I made for in my bathroom um, is the was the white door, drawer front and then I used the... Um, our little palette signs which are white and I left them white so I want this to kind of match it so we're gonna be painting this frame white so I'm just gonna tape some of this off so that I don't get too, too messy. Because I'm not sure what I'm gonna put on the other side of these. So they're double-sided. Um, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna put on the opposite side. So I'm gonna leave this the wood part of the frame in case I decide I still want that and if I don't I can always go ahead and paint that too. So I am a messy crafter so painting sometimes I get paint where I don't want it so it's always a good idea for me to tape things off. I don't always take the time to do it but is a good idea. Oh, I need a little bit more. How do I get it back? paint the inside of this a different color. Let me pull this down a little bit so you guys can be a little bit closer to what we're doing here. There we go. So we're going to paint the inside of this with our chalk paste. going to tape that off so I don't, it's really too long. So I don't get white paint on there. This is tedious. So 
what have you guys all been doing today? Hi, Monica. Hi, Tammy. Hey, Kenny. Bonnie's here. Hi, Jill. painting this. Like I said, I already did one of them. Let's get to painting this. And we're just going to use some white chalk paint. color you like. Hey Luann, hi Kim. You've been watching it snow in Maine all day. Yeah, there I there's just been some really rough rough weather. March is is well I guess is it still coming in like a lion? And goes out like a lamb? How does that what is that? I can't remember how that goes. If it comes in like a lion, it goes out like a lamb, but I guess we're still in the first half of the month. We have been cold here and kind of rainy on some days, but some days have just been cold and sunny. But yeah, it's it's still cold here for sure. I may put two coats on these. We'll see how it goes. I only put one coat on the other one because that's the one we're going to decoupage. But this one is going to stay white and I do want it nice and bright white. And then we'll do a little bit of distressing with some sandpaper. So it will have that nice dark stained wood underneath.
this dry. And we'll work on the other one. Just making sure I don't have any heavy, heavy drips or anything. I think that's good. All right, okay, so set that aside. And we will wrap this up in case I want to do another coat. Just put it in a damp cloth so that way the paint doesn't dry in my brush. And we'll set that up there. Make sure I don't spill this. Hey, Kim, you're new? Where are you from, Kim? Nice to meet you. I'm Diane. All right, so this one is all painted, and like I said, this is the one I'm going to decoupage, so I already did all the fussy taping off and all that, because I'm going to leave the very, very inside, I'll show you, of that dark wood showing. So we'll have the dark wood on the inside down here, and then we're going to decoupage the whole outside. Just go ahead and take this. Decoupaging is one of my favorite things to do. And there's many different ways to decoupage and I use many different techniques depending on the shape of the surface that I'm working on. So with this being a flat surface, we'll be using the ironing technique. Okay. So that is ready to go. So like I said, I'm not sure what I'm going to put on the back side of this yet, so I left this nice still brown. And we've already cut our napkin pieces. And the other thing I already did, just to save time, is after I painted this, um, I went over it with one coat of matte Mod Podge and uh, up here and on the side, and I let that dry. And that's how you want to do it when you're going to use this ironing technique. And I just realized I didn't get my iron out. I need to do that. Get this going. You're in Minnesota! Kim, my husband's family is all in Minnesota and Iowa. So kind of like Lyle, Minnesota, Osage, Iowa, right there on the border. Daryl graduated from Lyle. Carrie's in Alabama. How's the weather in Alabama? Hello, Teresa. Hi, Valerie. Hi, hey, Patricia. Good to see you guys. Thanks for coming to hang out. Let's see, what do I need to unplug? I'm not gonna need that one. Okay, so we are ready to go with this. So now that I cut strips, I'm just gonna decide what pieces I want where, because I want a little bit of that, that pink flower kind of showing on the edge as well as on top. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is pop the back two layers of napkin off. These are three-ply napkins and they're heavily pigmented. They're my favorite kind to use. And you can find these in my Etsy shop, y'all. All right, so I'm going to put this right on the edge. So also in decoupage, depending on what you're doing, you don't always want hard edges. But I did want hard edges for this. I'm going to 
gonna lay that right on there. And then I do need some, oh, let me grab some parchment paper. Sorry guys, I forgot to grab it. You think you have everything and then you realize you don't have everything. But luckily it's all real close. So now you do want to use parchment paper for this, not wax paper. up right on the very edge and I'm starting on this edge because it's going to be able to saw off the excess going down so even though that's a pretty narrow edge and I've really got to just kind of hang on to it. Make sure it doesn't move when I move my hand. So I'm going to just carefully and gently do that. Make sure. There we go. Okay. Well, now, well, it would help if you turned the iron on, Diane. Silly girl. Y'all, getting ahead of myself. This heats up real fast, though. Hang tight. Hang tight. I see Lisa's in Jacksonville, Florida. You're in the central part of the state by St. Cloud. Oh, okay. Yeah, Daryl's family has got people in St. Cloud, too. My brother and his family were there for quite a while. He was uh, working at the Mayo Mayo Clinic there, Mayo Hospital. Now he's in Michigan with a group. You're 45 miles from Huntsville. I kind of know about where that is. Okay, so this is hot now, so I'm just going to iron this down. So what happens is that decoupage glue that I painted on and let dry it, um, I don't want to get this too, too hot. Um, when I heat it with the iron, it melts it. Okay, now we'll stand that up. Lay that down and iron it. So now we're just remelting that decoupage glue underneath. Catching those edges. And then that's down nice and tight. So it'll be easier to saw off that extra on this side than it would have been on this side. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Let me make sure. I'm not going to use that piece because I tore that just a little bit. So again, I'm going to pop those two back layers off. We're only going to use that top layer. It is a small world, isn't it, Lisa? You have cousins up that way. Gosh, it is a small world. That's for sure. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing on this side. Get it laid down right on the edge. Now, if you did overhang a little bit, oh, you, you can, you can, you know, cut off your extra too. I'm just trying to save myself 
extra step. But if you're just starting out with decoupage, don't worry if you've got a little hanging over there. Because it all works out just fine in the end. Now we'll stand that up. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I just love this. Love it, love it, love it. go there. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and carve off. Let me get my, my favorite thing is a nail file to do this with. And this um, frame is mitered, so we're going to have to do a little tiny bit of finagle in here on the edges so we don't overlap. Okay, so let's cut this off. So now I'm going to just go in one direction. I'm going to let it cool first. That will give me a nice clean edge. Okay. And now we're going to start working on, grab these. So what do you guys think? Have you done this before? Are you learning some new tips and tricks? Kim says she loves to decoupage. I know, it's so fun, isn't it? pieces in. So I'm just going to decide exactly where. So I want to kind of butt this um, where it's this color. So I wouldn't, I don't want to put this up next to this edge because that's not where it ended. So I'm looking to see where it ended, and it ended on that creamy part. So I want to butt those creamy parts up there. So that's going to work real well. And I really want to keep those edges really straight. So I'm going to reach underneath and just cut that napkin right where those edges go together. And then the same thing on this side. Right where the edges go together. Now we'll pop those back layers off. And line that up. Little 
square out of there. Lisa loves to decoupage too. The end result is all, it always surprises you and looks so good. It does, doesn't it? I know, it's so fun. You can really make things that are very unique. So whenever I'm doing furniture or any, anything with a flat surface, I always use the ironing technique. Gives you a very, very smooth result. It's perfect. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so down here I ended with the, a green leaf, so I'm going to make sure that a green leaf is down there. That will work really well. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut our notches. Little pieces of napkin everywhere here. Again, I'm going to just give that a straight little cut. And the same thing on this end. Sorry if my arm's in the way. But you get the idea. Okay, that's going to be good. I'll go ahead and pop that out of there. and pop this one out. Okay. Now we'll pop a little granny spit. That's the best way to pop those off, y'all. Just wet your fingers, lick your fingers, and then just go pop. Just lined up again. Right there. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Twyla. Hi, Colin. Hi, Christina. How are you guys today? Thanks for popping in and hanging out. Go ahead 
can carve these off. So when you're cutting, make sure you're only going in one direction. I'm not sawing back and forth like this. I'm just cutting in one direction. This will match the other decor in my bathroom perfectly. And again, I did put the link to the transfer and these box frames. Or if you want to get the link, you can just put the word, what did I set it up as? Bath. Just put the word, nothing else, just bath in the comments and you will get the link in Messenger. So if you want it, you can grab it. Okay, all done. So now I will be going over this again with one more coat on top of decoupage glue, um, but I'm not gonna do that while I'm live with y'all. We'll just jump right into decorating it. The one thing I'll tell you when you do go over it, you wanna go, um, you don't wanna keep going over the same area, so just literally get enough on your brush and just give it a nice coat without going back and forth because when you put the decoupage glue back on, what that's going to do is re-wet that napkin. It's going to wet that napkin. So if you keep brushing over and over, you're going to tear your napkin. So just, you know, put one light coat on. Maybe we'll do that right at the end and then you can see what I mean. See what I mean. Okay, let's take a look at this. This one's going to need one more coat. So let's do that real quick. So that can be drying because this one I'm not decoupaging. So let's get this done. And this is chalk paint so it dries really quickly. Y'all, if you're enjoying the video and wouldn't mind sprinkling it, I would sure appreciate it. And also, if you're not, I have a um, free crafting group that I'm in there always on Thursdays live, but I usually go in there other days too. And that's where I run all my specials and promotions with my chalk products. So if you don't wanna miss any of that and you wanna get more tips and tricks and ideas, that's a good place to hang out. These little frames also are great to do little decor risers with. 
be doing some of that. Okay, that looks good. We're gonna let that dry. Put that in my water now. And then we'll go ahead and do this one. So I'm gonna be using, um, in the little um, cart link that you'll get, um, by the way, when you click on the cart link, if you put, you know, want the cart link, you can edit your cart when you go in there. So if you only want one of these little box frames, you can just change that to one. But just remember, every time you click that link, it'll start at doubling the, you know, so you'll want to always check your order before you check out. Okay, so now we're going to use our no selfies in the bathroom that out of the way. And we're going to cut this apart. So these are reusable silk screen transfers. They're not a stencil. A stencil actually has a hole in it um, that you pound, you know, pound paint through. This is actually a silk screen transfer that can be used 8 to 12 times. So very cost effective. So like you know, stencils, like when you have a letter like an A or something like that, it has that little break in it so that it doesn't fall out of the, you know, the stencil part. These don't have any of those breaks in them. So it's just a clear, clear, fine mesh screen. And we use our chalk paste with that that goes on wet and dries hard very quickly. And we're going to do this with Storm and... Um, pomegranate. Um, actually, did I want pomegranate? Yeah, I think I'll use pomegranate. Um, because remember, my bathroom is white, gray with accents in like a deep burgundy color. So um, that is why we're going to use those colors. And you, our transfers have cut lines on them. So you can just take a pair of scissors and cut them. If you um, want to cut them apart fast and keep them, you always want to keep your backer sheet because that's what you'll put the transfer back on after you're done washing it. They wash up with just plain water. You never use soap on the transfers and you don't wanna leave them soaking in water. So no selfies is the name of the transfer. I write on the back so that I'm never tempted to put the transfers back on the wrong side because this is like a matte finish and the other side is super, super shiny. So you, if you wanna keep that backer whole and not cut your transfer into tons of pieces, you can also just take a pair of shears and cut right along that cut line. These are our transfer trimmers so they, the transfers don't stick to them. So this is another quick and easy way. I usually do it with an X-Acto knife and cut a little extra out of the transfer because listen, these are like sometimes like a box, you know, when you get a box of something, you can never get it back in the box the way it came out. Now, well, maybe some of you guys are really good at it, but if I take something out of a box, I never can get it back in the box. So sometimes it's uh, to give myself a little more room. I cut a little bit extra out of there. But it's totally up to you how you wanna do it. Okay, so those are all cut apart now. I'm gonna get my fuzzing cloth. Now you can fuzz on your shirt, on your apron, on a towel, on your pants, whatever you wanna fuzz on. All we're gonna do is get a little bit of lint off of this fuzzing cloth um, so that It's gonna gentle that stickiness. They're super, super sticky. So I just wanna gentle that stickiness just a little bit so it doesn't stick too, too hard to my surface. So we're just gonna grab some lint. And I just do it till it kind of, it's, you know, it's sticky, but it'll let go of my fingers. And you can see how super shiny that side of the backer is. So you always put them back on that side. And then we're going to line this up. This is gonna be so cute. Love this transfer. Okay, 
So now that I've got it where I want it, I'm just kind of eyeballing the placement on the side. You can measure it if you want, but I'm, I'm an eyeballer from way back. Anybody relate? So I just eyeball it, usually works well for me. And now I'm, gonna, I'm pushing the air out from underneath it, because remember, that's a fine mesh screen, it's not a hole. And we're going to use Storm Gray on the words. And I've already stirred my paste up good before I came live with you. So I don't have to do that. But if you're just starting, make sure you stir, give your paste a little stir. I'm going to use a mini squeegee and I'm going to use our multi-tool to get in smaller areas. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab that pomegranate and we're going to do the little phone in pomegranate. And I will be doing all four of these. I just decided to do two of them to show you the painting that I was doing on this live. Okay, once I got everything covered, I'm just going to scrape back all that extra paste and put it right back in the jar. Okay, and now we'll grab our Storm Gray and just cover up the words. when you lift it up you want to lift it up slow so if you happen to miss any spot you can just lay it right back down and grab that and scrape back the extra okay here we go oh my gosh how cute is that <laughs> that is so cute, you guys. How cute is that? <laughs> I love that. Okay, so we got that one done. No selfies in the bathroom. So what I do, these wash up again with just water. Um, but I like to take them into my kitchen sink and wash them. So I'm just going to set it right here. Now, also know that the paste colors, our paste are all water-based, organically pigmented, and non-toxic. So, um, because of the organic pigments, um, the paste can stain this green part of your transfer, but don't worry, it's purely cosmetic. Um, it doesn't hurt the transfer at all, so um, don't worry about that. And I know that that um, pomegranate is definitely going to stain that transfer. Okay, let's get this dry. And then we're going to do a little painting with our chalk paste on this one. Let's close these up. They're water-based, so if you leave them open to the air, they can get a little thick, but even if they do get a little thick, you just use some distilled water and stir that in and get them back to kind of yogurt consistency. That is perfect. Okay, so I think we are good here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my iron off since we're all done decoupaging. Unplugged. You guys like the little sign? Hello Dee, hi Tony, hi Jane, hi Jana.
got um, Ophelia, she's our two-year-old granddaughter. I bought her some light-up shoes. And you guys, she just is, go, is going nuts about these light-up shoes. She's running, and then she'll stop real quick to look down and watch the lights flashing. And <laughs> it's the cutest thing. She just loves them. detail tool because it's got a small little pokey to pick up transfers and it's perfect to get tape started. So again, these are double-sided, so you can do both sides of them. I'm not sure what I'm going to put on the other side, which is why I left this part of brown. do some painting in here because I want this to be a really pretty green color and I'm just going to use our chalk paste to paint that. So I'm going to grab a color tray. tray and then add just a little water. That's probably way too much. A little goes a long way, but we'll we'll see if I need to add more. And then I'm going to add just a little water in there and get one of our paint brushes. And I'm going to wet that down. just start filling up my brush. So the water is just making it a little bit thinner, more like a paint instead of a paste. And I'm going to freehand this. Hopefully I'll be alright. Also paint with the ink colors we have or use them as stain. So we have both paste and ink. So you only use our ink on things that can be heat set in the oven or with an iron. So fabric, metal, glass, porcelain, things like that. And 
this is sage green, so it's just kind of it's just kind of a light light green color. And we're probably going to do two coats of this. I don't mind a little bit of that brown showing through, which is why I left it brown. But if you want like full bright, then you would go ahead and paint that white and then paint over it. dries very quickly. Gloria, hi Jill. stir it so you don't have any little chunks or lumps. And I didn't stir it that good, but I'll just pull those out. That's all good. Oh, I love this green color. And that's going to go really well with the edge of our decoupage piece. and smooth. in there.
sure the underneath is all dry before I go chalking on it. And I'm going to do a little bit of sanding. too much of the brown underneath showing through right there and right there. sanding on here. I just want to let that kind of get that brown color showing back up through here. A little distressing on those edges. Are you guys doing this weekend? Big plans. I can't believe how fast the weeks go by. Gregory, my other hairdresser friend, how are you? Getting all ready for your trip? You're coming after what next week? Thank you for the sprinkle. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to just do a little light sanding in here. guys like those two colors together. I think that's perfect. Love it. Okay. Just going to wipe that dust off there. Okay. And then let's see. I think we're going to do... Please seat yourself. I think that will be super cute.
So then I'll do two more that look exactly like these two for the other two, which says, text me if you need anything with a little toilet paper roll, and it's always a full moon in here. <laughs> Cute stuff. This one, I think I'm going to do a little bit of an ombre. Because the other pieces I made to go in there do have a little ombre on them. trapped underneath you could have a little little skip in your paste or something like that but you can't you can't mess this stuff up you can just let it dry and go back over it and it will be fine so let's do a little bit of ombre with this with our two colors so how we're going to do that is some gray and we're going to put some gray here let's see and then I'm going to ombre it kind of in the middle of this word seat so I'm not going to scrape all the paste back just at the bottom of the word seat no I'm going to go down do it right here in the middle of yourself. Okay, so we'll scrape back the extra up here. So it leaves some at the bottom. And then we'll put our pomegranate down here. And I'm going to come close to the gray but not touching it. And then I'm going to just wet my finger a little bit and I'm going to mush those two together just in a circular motion and blend that gray. Blend some up here. Okay, I think that's good. And then I'm going to scrape back more of that gray paste. It's a little still thick. And then we'll pull that up. And we've got. Oops, I need to go a little bit heavier right there didn't go through all the way. There we go. So there we go. Please seat yourself and no selfies in the bathroom. Love it. So I will take pictures once I get these hung up and post them. But I think they came out super, super cute. Hope you guys enjoyed learning some ombre techniques, some painting techniques, and some decoupage techniques. That was a lot of fun. Thanks for coming to hang out with me. Again, if you wanna check out um, this transfer and these box frames, I did put a little bundle together. You can just put the word bath, B-A-T-H, just that word, 
and you'll get a link in your uh, messenger and you can just click on it and go check it all out um, make sure to join the Diane's Charming Chalk Art Customer VIP Lounge if you want to be in on the little free craft group I've got going on and I hope you have a blessed rest of your day so I'll see you all again real soon bye